Hello, this is Alex. It's been quite a while since I last made a video and uh, I'm gonna make this video here to explain why. You may have noticed uh, that I often talk about that I'm sick, I'm being sick. Um, I have a number of conditions or afflictions or whatever you're gonna call it that seriously lower my quality of life so to speak. Um, and that makes it impossible for me to have a normal job which I have talked about now and then. Um, I haven't really gone into detail about this before, but I feel you guys should know what's going on and why I haven't been making videos in a while. Um, I'm going to be using some technical terms and get into some details about my illnesses. I'm not actually going to be playing Minecraft for this video. Uh, I'm just using this familiar setting here to uh, as a backdrop for me talking to you. So if you're here expecting me to play, um, you're going to be disappointed, I'm sorry. But uh, this is just going to be me talking. Um, there's a lot I'm going to talk about, but I will try and get through this as fast as I can. Uh, I actually had to write down all of my thoughts and what I want to say and so on, because uh, it's a lot to remember and... I had to think long and hard about what I wanted to say and how much I should share with you guys, but uh, I think it's time that I tell you what's going on. Um, I'm not going to tell you all of this to get you to feel sorry for me or to get your sympathy. Uh, I don't want money or anything from you, I just want to explain to you what is going on. Um, as you know, it goes against my grain to talk about my personal life. But I'm going to step out of my comfort zone here and tell you what's going what's going on at the moment and uh, what's been going on for a while now, okay? <clears throat> About six or seven years ago or something, I fell into a deep depression. Um, I had no idea about it at the time and it took us, me and my wife and uh, my doctor a long time to figure out what was actually going on. Um, I'm still not completely out of the woods, if you can say it like that, but uh, I feel much better than I did just a few years ago. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, that is not all, by long shots. Uh, I have a version uh, of ADHD called ADD, which stands for Attention Deficit Disorder. You may have noticed some of the symptoms in my videos. I have trouble finishing tasks, I get easily distracted, and I'm very forgetful and so on. You know, you've seen me do this in the videos. Um, apparently I had this ADD since I was a very small boy, but due to my high intelligence, I've been able to cope and hide it f from everyone, including myself. Um, and I never found out I had this affliction. Uh, I've had my IQ tested many times and I've never had a score lower than 136. So this is not to brag, but to explain why I have had this for so long without knowing about it. Um, you can you can think your way out of a lot of things, um, and apparently that's what I've been doing. Um, on top of that, I also have something called RLS, or Restless Leg Syndrome. I think I've talked to some of you about this. Um, if you don't know what RLS is, I'll uh, quickly explain how it affects me. Uh, it affects people differently, but the gist of it is um, when I relax uh, or sit still, I get this very uncomfortable feeling in typically my legs. It's like a creeping, un increasingly uncomfortable feeling moving up my legs. And the only way to stop this is to start moving my legs, get up, walk around, or you know, jitter with your feet, move your legs up and down, which I do constantly, even as I'm recording this. Um, it's very annoying, and uh, uh, it makes it so I, I can't sleep either. Um, <coughs> it's very bad when I do try to sleep. Uh, it's impossible for me to go take a nap, to go lie on the couch and sleep for an hour if I'm tired. I, I can't do that. Uh, I have to wait until I'm exhausted and I, I'm unable to stay awake anymore before I can actually sleep. Um, 
uh, it can take me m many hours to fall asleep, you know, um, and often I'll I'll try for two, three, four hours, and then I'll just give up, and and get up again and stay up for another day. Uh, so sometimes I go days without sleep, and then when I do sleep, sometimes it's only for an hour or two, and then I wake up again, and this of course means that I'm tired all the time. Uh, <coughs> This RLS, the symptoms for this started about five years ago, um, and they have accelerated very rapidly ever since. Uh, I didn't know how bad it was until very recently, um, because I talked to my doctor about some of this, and he put me on a waiting list to uh, to get tested. The earliest time they had to test me, uh, this is at a at a, a hospital. They have like a sleep and breathing sensor. Um, but the very first time they had was in November. So what I've been doing is I've been calling them now and then um, to hear if they have any cancellations of people. Uh, if people have called in and said I won't be able to make it, and then if you call and you may be able to to actually get in that very day or the day after or something and i did that about 14 days ago i did it regularly and about 14 days ago uh, they had a cancellation and i got called in <coughs> so um i had to go there and spend the night um i got hooked up to a machine with about 20 to 30 electrodes placed all over my body uh, oh, that's nice, raining. Um, yeah, let me just uh, get rid of this rain. I'll get right back. There we go. Rain is annoying. Yeah, so I had all these electrodes attached to me: uh, my head, my upper body, my stomach, uh, my legs, and my feet. Uh, I got this clamp put on my finger to measure my uh, the blood oxygen level, and I had uh, like one of those rubber. Uh, blood, no, what I'm saying. Um, uh, let me think. I need to see my uh, my notes here. Um, yeah, I had this plastic tube around my head. You see these in movies typically. Uh, that goes under my nose and into it to measure my breathing. And sleeping is already hard for me. And uh, as you can think, all these wires didn't help at all. But I did get some sleep apparently during the night. I was in the bed for uh, eight hours and I wasn't able to leave the bed because I was hooked up to this machine. Um, so in the morning they came and unhooked everything from me and the doctors looked at the uh, the results of and analyzed the results from all the machines that had recorded during, during the night and they kept me under surveillance also. There was a camera in there. Um, so, in the morning, the doctor came in to talk to me about what they had found out. Um, during the eight hours I was in bed there, trying to sleep, I slept for just under an hour and a half. Um, so, 18% of the night, to be precise, is what they measured. Uh, he confirmed that I have RLS, a very severe case of it, actually. Um, a normal RLS patient will have about 10 ticks, in quotation signs, uh, happenings, or what you're going to call them, an hour. I had 34 instead of 10, uh, and that will only get worse as I become older. <coughs> um, he also told me that I have, um, on top of RLS, I have something called peri periodic limb movement disorder, or PLMD. Uh, this is very similar to RLS, but it happens while I'm asleep. Uh, while sleeping, I will continue to kick and, f and flail with the arms and legs. My wife has told me this, but I always thought it was part of RLS, but it's two different afflictions or conditions. Um, you can have both, or you can have one without being affected by the other, but I'm just lucky enough to get both, I guess. So... Um, all day and all night I'm kicking and my legs and knees are sore most of the time because of this. Some days it can be hard to, 
just stand up. And if I've been sitting in my at my computer for too long, uh, my my legs can be very sore when I try to to get up. Um, <coughs> at the hospital, they also drew some blood to check uh, different things they can see in the blood, as you know. And uh, what what it showed is that the medicine I've been taking for quite a while to help me deal with the RLS has actually damaged my liver as well uh, and my teeth, my gums and teeth um, have been damaged by this uh, which is why I break my teeth all the time um, I've bits of them fall off and they just my teeth are awful um, and this is also because of this uh, which is more bad news um, <coughs> Um, but the doctor saved the best for last, so to speak. Uh, he explained to me that the conditions I have and um, at the rate they accelerate, I might be headed for Parkinson's disease. Um, you may have heard about Parkinson's disease where you lose control of your of your model muscles and you start shaking. I think if you've seen Michael J. Uh, Michael J. Fox, um, he stopped his acting career because he got Parkinson's disease and he you can't control your body when you get that and that this all this getting all of this information that just scares the crap out of me because I don't feel like I'm old I'm 39 I'll get 40 this summer and it it really scares me that I have to deal with all of this now um and also knowing that there's no treatment, there's no cure, it will only get worse with time. Um, so I hope you all understand why I stopped making videos for a while. Um, I haven't been on the server playing on the iTunes server with the, the other guys since then either. Um, I do like to record videos very much and I do like to share them with you guys uh, and have you watch them. Uh, I enjoy that very much in speaking to you in the comments and when I live stream and I want to get back to that uh, this video here is to explain what has happened um, and I feel like I should explain it to you uh, oh it's getting dark here now okay I better stop talking soon okay so I don't know about the schedule yet I don't know how um, how much I'm gonna be able to do uh, if what my energy level is going to be like, if I'm going to be able to make as many videos as, as I would like to, or what is going to happen. But I want to get back to making videos. Um, and also I want to see if I can uh, maybe start a new series. Um, so this is not all bad news. Some of you may already have noticed some of the things around here that are different from normal Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, um, that's about it. It's uh, quite a mouthful, and I appreciate you staying here to the end to listen to me talk about my crappy health. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching, um, and I will see you all in the next video. So, thank you. Bye.